What is up, boys and girls? It is time for that phenomenon we call Content 5 -0. Before we get started, you guys can see I got my um, my gold headset on. Well, the white ones that I used to wear were a previous model. This is the new model. I just picked them up like two days ago. And uh, they are awesome. Hell, they like everything you do. Like if I let down this microphone, it's, it'll tell me what it's doing. Like it'll say microphone on or microphone off, or if I press a button, like if I press the volume button, it'll tell me all kinds of shit. So, yeah, it's, it's Corsair, and it's wireless. Um, they're pretty badass. They look gold on here, but they're actually black and yellow. You guys know I'm a Steelers fan, so. But anyway, guys, you know, I'm bullshitting around in my Discord, and, um, uh, Something popped up that I felt like uh, I had to discuss. <sighs> Let me get to it. This Now, this guy is a content creator, apparently. He calls himself Ambu Black Ops. Now... I know uh, Rebel has already made a video about this guy because I guess he took a couple shots at Rebel or something. I don't know. Um, but I want to know something before I even get into the gist of this. Why is it so many black YouTubers on here calling themselves Ambu something? Like that chump who uh, comes at me all the time. Uh, he tried to steal Content 5.0 and he called it Content Ambu. Like, why did all these black dudes use this Ambu crap? It doesn't make you cool. I don't know why in the fucking hell they use this. Ambu. Content Ambu. Ambu Black Ops. What do you niggas want to be ninjas for so bad for? It's just ridiculous, man. It just sounds dumb. It's a stupid name. But, hey, you know how it is. Motherfuckers got to do shit to try to keep themselves popular. I don't have to do nothing to be popular. I just get on here and say what I want to say. That's how you get popularity. But um, I want to bring up a couple pictures real quick. Here's one of them. This is some of this dude's content. Now, one of these videos on this list is of particular interest to my Content 5 owners. We will be discussing it in detail. But, um, I want you guys to brace yourselves, okay? When I, when I get into the video portion, I want you guys to brace yourself because even I wasn't ready for this. This shit, like, it caught me completely off guard. I ain't even gonna bullshit. I think I, it was supposed to be a couple more. I don't know where the hell they went. Hang on a minute. They might they might not have loaded properly. Oh yeah, here we go. Yeah. Hang on, let me get the other one out real quick. Yeah, apparently um Apparently he's, uh, what's the word? Flamboyant, I guess is the word we'll use. Um, there's some other words that I would use, but I'm not going to yet. <laughs> he said I need bleach. <laughs> Don't get started on the bleach, y'all. Come on now. Anyway, guys. Let's get to the portion of the Content 5.0 that y'all care about. Let's get to the part y'all care about the most. And probably the part that I want to hear about the least. But I, I went on his channel and I saw this video. Like, 
this one in particular caught my attention because of what he's talking about. And it goes back to what we were what we were trying to talk to uh Danny about. You remember when we guys were tell when we were telling him on the live stream about online relationships and shit? Well, apparently this guy uh was having an online relationship. But the problem is the person on the other end of it was a 12 year old boy. Yes, I didn't lie. I don't want people to think I'm lying on the dude. He even titled the video. I'm quitting YouTube because of a 12 year old boy blackmailing me. That's what the name of the video is. If you don't believe me, go to his channel. You'll see it. He put it in all capital letters. Let's go. Hey, first of all, hang on a minute. I'm gonna turn my I'm gonna turn my music down that's playing in the background. Hang on, I'm gonna turn that down a little bit. I know y'all like it, but still. We need a little bit of quiet for this. Alright, that's better. What do you mean? Yeah. So I've decided that I'm going to go ahead and quit YouTube. Um, it's been a good run. Now, I want you guys to keep something in mind. He didn't quit. He made, he made a whole lot more videos after this one, after he said he was going to quit. He even made another video where he said he was quitting and then came back and made more videos. So, we have established that he's a YouTube whore. He can't let it go. Uh, but I'll, I'll let you finish listening to... Yes, exactly. Gangstalicious. That's exactly who he remind me of. If any of y'all ever watched the Boondocks, this dude remind me of Gangstalicious. It's been fun. It's been... Everything that I wanted it to be oh by the way guys that's not my equipment his videos are in really shitty audio quality because i don't want people to think that's my equipment you guys know when i do content 5.0 it usually sounds crisp and clear his videos are some of the worst i've ever seen and his audio quality is straight shit it's like he's using the microphone on his webcam and we and you guys know how bad those sound like, webcam microphones are some of the worst shit you can use. So, I apologize in advance because it's not my system. It's his content. And if that explanation ain't good enough, then fuck you. And he has a bunch of shitty ass anime shit on the wall. A lot of it, he put it up there with, like, scotch tape or some shit. You see the Dragon Ball shirt on a hanger. Like, this is just terrible content, man. This guy went to the Tyrone Magnus School of doing videos, where you just sit there for two minutes and don't say nothing. Hey, uh, who the... Who, hey, Ted, don't come in here talking that Havoc Unbound shit. We done with that guy. Oh, and before anybody starts with the, oh, he's picking on another black guy routine, I don't even want to hear it because they put this shit in my Discord. I didn't know shit about this dude. I didn't even know he existed. So I don't want nobody to start that NBA just picking on poor little black dudes because you know that shit is coming. Are you going to talk already? Fuck. See, whenever they do these long ass pauses like this, this when you know they guilty. They know they guilty. It's old T-Pain want to be ass motherfucker right here. Come on and say something. 
So the title is true. Um, I'm quitting YouTube. And it's because a 12-year-old beat me. A 12-year-old beat you? I don't even want to ask what he beat. I don't even want to fucking touch that. Listen, I know somebody's going to say, you're just picking on him because he's black. Or you're picking on him because he's gay. I don't know that he's gay. All I know is this is how he talks. And he's admitting to having an online relationship with a 12-year-old. Now, in his defense, he didn't know the person was 12. But this is why I keep saying, stop having these online relationships with these fucking websites. If you don't know these people, then don't fucking get online and say and do the wrong shit. Because I guarantee you, he probably sent some pictures. I mean, listen, he's claiming that this kid's trying to blackmail him. The only way this kid can blackmail you is if you sent something to him that you shouldn't be sending to a kid. Y'all get my meaning here? Like, he can't blackmail you if he lied and said he was 18. But if you sent him some, some uh, incriminating evidence against yourself, then yeah, he can fucking get you. So he had to send him this boy something. He had to do something for this kid to initiate blackmail. Just saying. I'm in love with a stripper. <laughs> a 12-year-old little dummy. No, it sounds like the dummy here is you. You just said you got beat by a 12-year-old. That would make you the dummy. <laughs> dummy. <laughs> Boy, I can already see this is going to be too easy. By the way, guys, I'll have to do my Red Dead Redemption review tomorrow uh, because I had to put it off in order to give y'all the content 5.0. Y'all understand. You got to make, you got to choose. You want the goddamn game review. You want the content 5.0. You have to choose. And I chose for you. Made me quit YouTube. Oh, do y'all hear the way his microphone is crackling? Holy shit, that stuff is hard to listen to. It's 2018. Who the fuck has a microphone that sounds this bad in 2018? Don't nobody say Zerko 3, please. And I know that some people are probably lost. And I don't want to even show you where to get information. I don't want to shine light on that person's Twitter or Instagram or whatever 12-year-olds do. Guys, I'm going to say this again. And, and I'm not even kidding. I want to <laughs> This dude is the result of growing up with a single black mom, no dad in sight. Because no dad would allow their son to be saying and doing what this guy is saying and doing. No way one of my kids is going to come to me and say, I got catfished by a 12 year old. No, because they're going to know better. That's, the, that's dad's job to keep their fucking sons out of this kind of shit. This is how you know the majority of these black dudes are growing up with single black women. Why do you think he sounds like a single black woman when he talks? Even if he's not gay, let's say, for instance, that he likes women. Listen to his voice and tell me he don't sound like a black woman. That's what happens when dad is not around. I'm just saying, I'm tired of seeing black men with no fathers. You know, I don't know if his password to Twitter is crayon12. 
I don't know if his password to his Facebook is um, Yu-Gi-Oh! 9, Dragon Tales. I don't know if he eats milking cookies for lunch. Guys, his voice mixed with this shitty microphone and his headset amplifying it is fucking murder on my ears. I hope you assholes appreciate what I'm doing for you because this is fucking torture on my ears. Holy shit, this sounds bad. I don't know anything that 12-year-olds do. You know, Apparently, they get online and catfish dumbass YouTubers. <laughs> this is why I keep saying guys need to learn how to date again. Guys need to learn how to walk up to women and ask for their phone number and ask them out on a date. All of this online dating is the reason why he got catfished by a fucking 12-year-old. Because you motherfuckers don't know how to date anymore. The reason he getting trolled like this by a little kid is because he's on the internet looking for a relationship. Get some macking skills. Say, hey, bitch, what's up? Can I holler at you? Or in his case, hey, my nigga, can we talk? Now, I don't want y'all to think that's me. That's just speaking for him. Because you know I, ain't, I don't ride with that shit. I'm just saying this wouldn't have happened to him had he not been on the internet trolling for booty. I'm here for booty. <laughs> I'm just keeping it real. No, I don't know if they argue uh, about how Digimon is better than Pokemon and... Digimon forums on Reddit. I don't know what 12 year olds do. We don't know what you do. Well, actually, we do. One thing we know about you is you don't know how to get to the fucking point. Get to the juicy shit. Get to the stuff that we want to hear. Like how you got catfished by a 12 year old. Get to that. Taking your motherfucking time getting to the point. But guilty some bitches always take a long time to get to the point, don't they? They always take a long time to fuck. They always got to do this big ass build up. I got to build up the momentum. Just tell us what you did. I guess it all comes to an end, you know? It didn't. He's still on YouTube. He just did a live stream today. So he's not done on YouTube. This was a sympathy card he was trying to play because his ass felt bad that he was talking to a 12-year-old on the internet. And it sucks. It sucks that it's ending. Like, I actually thought we were... What kind of point am I making? Okay. There was someone that I really, really liked. And I... Okay, between his voice, the microphone, and the direction of this conversation, my skin is fucking crawling. Okay? my I mean, for real, this is just gross on more levels than I can count. I think this is probably the, the, the ickiest I've ever felt doing a con Content 5.0. Like, don't you guys feel what I feel right now? That weird, my skin itching kind of bullshit? I'm telling you, it's just some weird ass shit, man. Look, he said this shit make me feel dirty. <laughs> hey, I ain't bullshit you, man. This shit is just... God damn it, man. Never met this person before. There we go. Remember what I told Danny, guys? I said... He, he thinks he's in love with this girl from Europe that he's never met. This motherfucker get catfished by a 12-year-old because he never met. Learn how to meet real people and get off the internet. 
even if you meet somebody on the internet, you need to set up a time and day that y'all are going to meet and get take the take the relationship from the internet to the real world. I'm serious. You can't just keep it online, online, online. At some point, you have to meet people because then you can verify if they're real or not. You can't verify the realness of a person if it's always on a computer. Man, y'all need to quit with the shower emojis. In real life, I've only communicated with them online. So I found out that that person that I was talking to is actually a 12-year-old boy. You lucky his parents didn't have you, you put in fucking jail. Because even if it was the boy's fault, even if he pretended to be 18, you can still go to jail for what you say to him online. You guys ever heard of that show, To Catch a Predator? Some of those dudes were arrested for what they said online, not for what they actually did. So he could literally be arrested for this. And don't even realize it, apparently. So, this 12-year-old boy threatened to release screenshots of him and I conversation when I thought he wasn't a 12-year-old boy. Well, um, it sucks to be you, I guess. I mean... <laughs> I don't know what to tell this motherfucker. Whoa, hold up a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. Oh, I was trying to figure out uh, who that was, if that was a fake or not. Okay, cool. Just block him then. Fuck it. I'll let y'all handle it. Fuck him. I'm going to keep doing my show. I ain't going to stop stop the presses for trolls. Yes, I am not kidding. This is real. This is not made up. Like, this is literally happening to me. And so... I was dealt with a choice. I mean, what 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 am I supposed to do? Well, I'm gonna tell you right here, right now. If you have screenshots of you, or if this 12 year old has screenshots of you saying sexually explicit shit to him, or shit that you shouldn't be saying to a child. Getting off YouTube is not going to stop the law from doing their job. I mean, I'm sorry, but if you done the shit, if you sent the shit, whether you knew it was a kid or not. Well, listen, I'll just tell you like this. This is why they tell you not to send pictures of your dick or in a woman's case, your, your girly parts. Not to say sexually explicit things to someone you don't know because you don't know who's on the other end of that device. That's why they tell you not to do that shit. Because if you send a dick pic, what if you send it to a kid? They don't care that you didn't know they're going to arrest your ass for sending pornography to a kid. They don't give a fuck if you knew the kid's age or not. Stop sending shit to people you don't know. If, some, if you're a girl and somebody say, hey, send me a picture of your pussy. Don't fucking do it. Or snap a picture of a cat and send them a picture of a cat. That way, they got what they wanted. They got to see a pussy. And you don't put your goods out there. See how that works?
But when you put pictures on fucking line, they're on line. They stay there. And I don't know what exactly he sent to this person. But whatever it was, if it scared him enough to get off of YouTube, then it must have been some shit he shouldn't have been sending. Because if a motherfucker sent me a message, um, uh, delete your YouTube channel or I'm going to release messages you sent me, go ahead, motherfucker, because I haven't said no sick ass shit on the, on the internet. Everything I've ever said, I'm saying it in front of this camera. So go ahead and release your fucking screenshots. If this dude is so scared of these screenshots that he's going to delete his channel, that should tell you he sent some shit he shouldn't have been sending. It is unfortunate, right? And you guys know, that's the second time I've been catfished. Wow. You've been catfished twice? Now... You guys know, y'all know what's coming at the end of this. Y'all know which song he getting. I'm not even going to tell y'all, but y'all know what song he is getting. It's coming. Oh, yeah, it's coming. <laughs> you need to get up in twice. You need to get off the internet, bro. You get off the internet. <laughs> That's actually. <laughs> That's actually. Oh, hold on a minute. I'm doing that. I'm doing that right now. I am doing that right motherfucking now. <laughs> hold it. Just, hold on, guys. <laughs> Holy shit, man. Y'all are terrible. But I'm doing it. I'm fucking doing it. Please convert. Please work. Yes, it's working. Awesomeness. <laughs> this is going to be awesome. Man, I am a swine. I am complete swine, man. All right, we got that working. Oh, man. <laughs> he said, that nigga is guilty. Nigga is guilty. I got the rope right here. He is guilty. Oh. Oh yeah, it's queued up too. I'm gonna wait though. I'm gonna save that shit. I'm gonna say that we gonna play. We gonna play some more of his video first before we get to this. Let's finish this shit. This is the second time I've been catfished. I don't know why I can't tell the difference between people. Well, let's see. If you keep getting catfished. That's because you're so desperate to find somebody that you keep jumping your ass back on there. That's how you get catfished. 
when you're so goddamn desperate that you keep jumping on the fucking internet. Hey guys, y'all didn't have to block him. He wasn't talking about me. Now he didn't call me a coon. He said, who's this coon NBA destroying today? He was talking about him. He wasn't talking about me. <laughs> he said, find a real woman. Yeah, in this guy's case, I don't quite think that's happening. Oh, by the way, niggas, Pittsburgh beat Baltimore today. Even though everybody said that Baltimore would win. Versus their online persona. Versus, you know... Then, Guys, I'm going to do like I do everybody else. I'm going to play five minutes of his shit like I do everybody. I don't play more than five minutes. I just Five minutes is enough. Like, we don't need to play his whole shit. I don't know why I can't figure it out. But this is the second time I've been catfish. This time, it was bad. That kid is blackmailing you. Take him to court. Take him to court. I mean, I don't even know how much money a 12-year-old has in his piggy bank. I don't think I, it would even be worth it. Like, what could I really... All right. This one's making me sick. I've had enough of this. But we're not done. Because he did a live stream today. And I'm going to let you guys hear what he was talking about on his Today live stream. What's up, you guys? I am really close to you. Let me scoot back. <laughs> let me scoot back. Better? Yeah, much better. Um, so what's up, you guys? I knew I wanted to go live today. I just didn't know what time. And so now I'm like, oh, this is the perfect time. This motherfucker swear he T pain or some shit. Like, look at the way he dressed. Look at the way he act. Like for real. Like, what the fuck, man? It's hard being a black man in this country, especially when you got other black dudes that act like this. Like this shit is just. And then the shitty ass microphone he using. Like, goddamn, if you're gonna sit on there and pretend to have all this swag, then why can't you get a microphone? Um, cause you guys are just getting up and I think it's, uh, finally time for me to talk about this bitch ass nigga. these people. Holy shit. Oh. Named Adolfo Jr. Whatever the fuck he's calling himself these days. Pineapple head. Whatever. What's up you guys? Oh I want to keep something in mind guys. 
He has 2,600 subs. But when he live streams, he has maybe 12 people watching. Um, Can you say dead channel? What's up, Ambu DJ? And he keeps calling everybody Ambu. If you go look at his comment section, everybody who watches him calls themselves Ambu something. Ambu punk, Ambu little bitch nigga. I mean, they all Ambu's. And, like, that shit is so fucking lame. Maybe I'm biased, but I just, I simply don't see a group online as fucking cool as the league. I don't. There's, like, there are several groups on the internet, but none of them come close to the level that we've created. And his little group of Ambu's, like, wow, man. YouTube is a fucked up place. <laughs> yeah, achieve it. Don't forget them. What's going on, Ambu Gamba? What's up, Ambu Madara? DJ, you commented on a... Nope, I'm not doing it. YouTube video, and your comment got a thousand likes. And I commented and said, out of all the videos I'm watching, how did I stumble onto this video? I go down, DJ's comment goes viral. I'm like, what? But yeah, I, I wanted to tell you that, DJ. What's up, Ambu BQ? Ambu Black Queen? She in the building? She looking really pretty? I merely rock her heat. Man, can somebody hit me over the head with a club, please, and kill me? This is the, the absolute worst. I mean, holy fuck. If y'all thought... If y'all thought Lil Fuck Boy's content was bad... Holy fucking shit. This is why black dudes get a bad name in anime. Because all of them turn out to be like this clown. Losers with terrible content. This is why black guys don't do well in anime. Because they do all this weird ass shit instead of just telling people about the anime. They do this kind of shit. <laughs> Keita says she want to be put out of her misery. You know what? Nothing, cause I got the brief. I'm just rapping. Uh. No, that no, that's not rapping, sir. I don't know what you call that, but what you just did is not rapping. <laughs> What's up, Cheryl? Cheryl. Oh, this one's even worse than the first one. <clears throat> Couple more minutes, and then I can't do it no more, guys. What's Gucci? Oh, I'm back. Did this motherfucker just say what's Gucci? I just downloaded a special song just for him. Uh, for real, what video? I don't know what video it was, but yeah. Okay, so you guys, hit one if you're ready for me to start the exposing. What is going on, Ambu? If this is his ideal of exposing, then he needs to come to NBA School of Exposure because what I'm doing is exposing. And the reason that this is an exposure is because none of us knew who the fuck he was. So I'm exposing this guy to my crowd. None of us have ever seen or heard of this guy before. So he's getting ex new exposure from us, the league. You can count on it. Stephen Brown, what's up, man? Man, I'm gonna skip this. Fucking talk about something else. What? What's up, Amber Woofy? Oh. Who the fuck spends three minutes saying what's up to everybody? Start your fucking show. Okay. What's up, Amber Sierra? Oh. Fuck this guy. I don't even care anymore about your fucking show. Now you done pissed me off. Time for the special song I just downloaded just for you, you fuck. Area. As a public service, we have created this videotape so that you and your friends and family can stay aware, stay safe, 
and maybe even have a little fun. Enjoy. State of Florida has asked us to disclose our sexual crimes to you. We were bad, but now we're good. We're moving into your neighborhood. You know we're trying our best to be functioning members of society. We're not here to start a little trouble. We're leaving your reply to the sex offender shuffle. I'm Larry Art Howard, and I'll refrain from touching my neighbor's kids today. What I did was not too kind, but I'm a nice guy you'll come to find. I've got a backyard and a real nice pool. Y'all have to come over for a barbecue. We can make some cold drinks in my blender, but do keep in mind that I'm a sex offender. Vernon Douglas is my name. My battery arrest is what brought me fame. But there's much more to know about me. I love to dance and I love to ski. I zip and zoom on through the snow. Just strap on my boots and watch me go. But I can't ski until December. Till then I'm just a sex offender. I'm Charles Dolan, dropping rhymes. I've been arrested seven times. I know that sounds like a lot. Three of those times were for vandalism. Feel real bad, I got caught. Might do it again, probably not. I'm not here to make pretenses. I'm here because my sex oh. is Sam Pell, I'm number one. Apologizing for what I've done. In case you were wondering what that was, I snuck into a bathroom and I- OH MY GOD! <laughs> Truffles, I'm just here to do the sex offender shuffle. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> hey everybody, I'm Laura Hughes. Proving girls can do it too. <gasps> and by it, I mean touch your cousin. Was it worth it? No, it wasn't. Don't find me in your child's play set, cause I gotta wear this ankle bracelet. I'm not here to do anything better because I'm a sex <laughs> Last name Burm Hope, first name Mark. <laughs> Sex offender shuffle. Ha, 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 ha. 
<laughs> God damn! Oh, oh fuck! <laughs> I ain't never, <laughs> I ain't never doing this again. <laughs> oh. Holy fuck, man, I got tears in my eyes. Holy shit. <laughs> oh. oh shit, okay guys, let me get my composure here. Okay, what the hell, man? Oh, okay, I I'm better now. What the hell? I done gave myself a headache, man. <laughs> oh, oh, my oh, really God. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh man. I done gave myself a headache. My stomach hurt. That that was too funny, man. That was too funny. I think that's the first time that I downloaded a song. Like, right in the middle of the show, just to use for somebody. Oh. Whew. Holy shit, guys. Y'all just, y'all give this guy your own verdict. I don't even know what to think about this dude. I ain't even lying. I, I don't know what to think about this dude. I know he's a weird motherfucker. Like I said, I don't I don't know if the dude gay or not cuz that don't really matter to me. Um whether he like girls or boys or whatever, that's his business. But the fact that he got caught up in some shit with a 12-year-old boy is kind of self-explanatory. I'm gonna leave that to the fates. It's not my business. But I had to do this content 50 because I, when I saw that shit in my Discord I just said, okay, I, I got to do this. I got no choice. It's one of them things. But um, y'all hit the comment section up. Tell me what y'all think about this shit. Uh, I'm going to come down off of this damn laughter. And I might play me some Red Dead Redemption. Um, actually, I might go ahead and record me some game footage uh, on it while I'm, while I'm busy playing it. That way I'll have something to upload for my review. So I might do that. Uh, I, I still kind of suck at the game because I just started playing it. I mean, I'm good enough to do stuff on there, but I'm not as good as people who've been playing it for weeks already. So it is what it is. Now I'm not gonna do I'm not gonna do a live streaming uh, for it. I'm gonna wait till I get my new computer for that for before I start streaming games. Cause when you stream games, people want it in 1080. And this computer that I have, it can stream in 1080, but it buffers a lot because it doesn't have a um, it doesn't have a powerful enough CPU. It has a, a a good GPU in it, but the CPU is not not the kind that I need to do that kind of streaming. Cause you guys remember when I used to stream, it would buffer all the time. That's because this computer, like, if it gets to 1080, it can do it, but it just fucking strains the hell out of the computer. So until then, I'll just do videos. Now, I'm not even going to be doing a lot of video game videos. I'm just doing this because Red Dead Redemption is fucking awesome. And I need to, you know, do my review. <clears throat> also, tomorrow I'm going to be doing a review of uh, Walking Dead of uh, Rick Grimes' final episode. 
that's going to be on the entertainment channel. Both of those videos will be on the entertainment channel. <clears throat> Man, I done congested myself up laughing so hard at this dude. But I'm going to do both those videos on the entertainment channel. Um, I got a couple anime reviews I need to drop this week. So, yeah, I got a lot of content coming out this week, guys. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put the shit out there for you guys. Fuck it, you know. I don't even care anymore about how many views I get. Uh, I know that when I changed content on my main channel, my views went down. Because I was averaging like 1,500. Now it's down to like eight or 900. But that's what happens when you change content all of a sudden. People who were there for certain kinds of content drop off. That's just the way YouTube works. So <clears throat> it is what it is. Um, but yeah, man, thanks for coming out on a Sunday. I know some of y'all probably watching football or some shit. I'm going to get my butt up out of here and um, come to get my head straight now because I got a pound of headache now from laughing so hard at this dude. Um, and I guess I'll see y'all tomorrow when I start throwing up some videos. Catch y'all later, man. Thanks for coming.